you should still have the vacation.psd file that we opened and saved onto our USB drive in the previous exercise. On the left hand side of your work area, you'll notice this here is called the toolbox. The toolbox can be moved around by clicking the blue bar on the top and dragging the toolbox to a new location. So if it's in a bad spot or you simply wish to move it somewhere else, you can always click and drag that toolbox. Now the toolbox contains many buttons and each one of these buttons represents a different function or tool that's available in Photoshop. Now if you're not sure what a particular button is or does, simply put your cursor on top of a button and the computer will show you the name of that particular function. Okay, You may have to wait one or two seconds but usually you'll see the names appear. Okay. Now you'll also notice that some of these buttons contain a little tiny triangle on the bottom right corner of that button. For example, this one has that triangle, but this one doesn't. This one doesn't, but this one does. Okay. If a button contains a triangle on the bottom right, it means that there are other hidden tools. Okay. For example, let's see what the hidden tools are for the marquee tool. So if I click and hold down the left mouse key, the four options appear. Right now, the rectangular marquee tool is the one that's currently selected, but if I release the mouse button when I'm touching the elliptical marquee tool, you'll notice that that tool has now become the elliptical marquee tool. Okay. I'd like you to find the button that's called the lasso tool. And if you click and hold the left mouse button down, you'll see that there are three options. The current tool is the lasso tool, but if I highlight the polygonal lasso tool and let go of the mouse button, you'll notice that it has now switched to the polygonal lasso tool. While I'm holding down my left mouse button, you'll also notice that the computer shows the letter L right here. What that means is L is the shortcut key that allows you to select from the different types of lasso tools available. So for example, if I want to switch from one lasso tool to another, I could do it by clicking and highlighting different lasso tools, or I can press and hold down the shift key on my keyboard and press L. Okay, So every time I press L, you'll see that right here, as I'm pressing shift and L, the lasso tool is changing between the different options. Okay. Let's try another just to give you some uh, more exposure to this. So for example, this is the paintbrush tool and the letter, the shortcut is the letter B. And so if I press shift and B, you can see that it switches between the two types of tools. Right now it's a pencil tool. If I click it, it becomes a paintbrush tool. Okay, now shift and a shortcut button will give you access to a variety of different tools, but one of the problems that beginners sometimes have with using Photoshop is when they start the program up, somebody else might have been using Photoshop earlier and they've changed all the tools to different ones that they may not be familiar with. So for example, if someone has changed all the tools here, and you're looking at them and you can't make any sense of the tools because someone else has changed them, I'll show you how you can change them back to the original settings. So if you go up to edit and go down to preferences, 
go to general and you click that in the preferences dialog box you'll see down here there's a button that says reset all tools to their default configuration so if I just watch over here someone's changed it here but if I click reset all tools uh, the warning it says reset all tools to the default settings I click OK and I click OK again you'll notice that all the tools will change back to the settings that they should be when you first turn on the computer okay and so uh, beginners can always change the toolbox to the default settings by going to edit preferences general and clicking the reset all tools